my name is Andrea Martin. I live in Abrams, Wisconsin, which is just north, about a half an hour from Green Bay. Woohoo! Go Packers! I did my shop in about 2007 with strictly upholstery. And for that upholstery, I wanted to create something of a giveaway that wasn't expensive to make, but that people would remember me by. I started making bags out of billboards. And then I write my name on them and I give them away. I started selling at farmer's markets. I started doing art shows. I am now upholstering furniture with billboards. And my biggest project that I've ever done is a building. People have ever submitted a building for their submission tape. <laughs> Doesn't get much bigger than a building. I do big, baby. This stuff here, it may look like a disaster area, but you know what? This is all gonna be made into something beautiful. I am in my shop and I do have a friend of mine with me, Jenny, my assistant for the day. And what I do is I make stuff out of junk and some of my junk That's today. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. In making recycled items, you use what you got. Use what you got, you're limited. And it makes you more creative because you know what? You can't just go out and buy any fabric because if I gotta go out and buy any fabric, it would choke me. She is the cheapest, cheapest. Oh. Girl I will scrounge in garbage to get fabric. <laughs> That's not Swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> but only the best garbage cans. Yeah. <laughs> I don't go to the bad side of town garbage cans. <laughs> Again, we're not really clean crafters. We like to get our no, hands dirty. No, I, I like to get is. dirty. I like to make it big. I like to make it real. I like to make it practical. That's what you're going to get from me is practicality. Introducing Andrea's before. I don't know what this is other than it looks like crap. Apparently she paid three dollars for it. The handle is falling off. It's beautiful. And this is the after. This is the um, mate to the other three dollar chair. It's made from a foam billboard people. This can go outside on your porch. Is it not spectacular? My new cosmetic bag. Everything on this is upcycled except for the zipper. This is an upholstery sample or a drapery scrap. This is a billboard. If you have an explosion in your cosmetic bag, you take this out and hose it off. Stick it back in, bada bing, bada boom. This is a small chunk from one of the billboards, actually one of the billboards that I'm upholstering the chairs with. I cut these things into 10 foot by six foot chunks. Over here, this is my best friend. Let's call him George. <laughs> Competitive? Hell yeah, I'm competitive. Most outrageous creation is my shop, and it's the biggest thing I've ever done. I had to beg, borrow, and almost steal. Actually, I did steal. <laughs> what I want to do is recycle stuff, and however that happens to come about, that's what I do. That's why I do bags, that's why I do recycling, that's why I do furniture. I'm the perfect contestant for the ultimate craft throwdown because I don't mind getting my hands dirty. In fact, I love getting my hands dirty. I got, you can't see them, but there's calluses there. I am willing to dump in, jump into dumpsters to get the stuff I need to win this show. <laughs>